Okay, so what do we have here? We're using Amplitude's pedals in front of our actual real amp. And yeah, it sounds like... We can take him off. And then we have a sound like this. So that's just my amp. And now... So yeah, this is one way to use, you know, Amplitube with your real amp. And I'm gonna show you how to set it up. And we'll take a look at the physical connections. It's really simple. There's no real amp box involved, nothing like that. And you can make it simpler. But I'll show you my setup. Then let's get back to the door and I'll show you how to set it up. Okay, so this is actually really simple. We have our headphone one, and that is going into my amp's input. Then my guitar is going to input one, and then input three and four are the mics that I have inside my isolation box. So let's Look at that one and the amp. So here we go. And as we can see, my little choyo, the headphone output one is going here. And then we have inside, and that's the insides of the isolation box. We have two microphones, AT2020, and then a cheap Behringer. 906 and as a speaker there's a celestial green back so that's our physical connections and the setup we are going to use or are using for that and then into the door all right so of course i had this already set up and ready to go but i'm gonna do this from scratch and I'll show you what you need to do to set it up properly. So I'm gonna get rid of all of these. Oh, there we go. There we go. These as well. And yeah, the first thing we're gonna go song and song setup. We go to audio inputs and output setup, and I have created this output for headphone output one so in here it's output three and four i created the mono so here's what i did add mono there we go that's done i could rename it like that and then apply and then we can check our inputs i have all mine enabled already so i don't have to care about those and then first thing we'll do we'll create a track there we go we'll take our guitars input and that's gonna be this one and then we'll drag our amplitude on there Now bear with me, this is gonna take a little... Now let's put the recording on, and we can hear... Amplitude. But now we want to send it to our real amp. What we do, we take that output. And now I start hearing sound coming from my isolation box. So what do we do f next? Because we want to actually hear it in our door. So let's create a few tracks. There we go. 
and then we just go here and take our microphone input so input three and four and then we enable the recording and monitoring for them all and now we have actually let's take rid of get rid of the amp and cap of course because we are not going to be using those because we have an amp and cap so here we go now those are disengaged do that and now we have There we go. And what I like to do is I like to create a boss channel for these. And then I can pump up the volume. I can put some inserts, sends on there. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment. But now let's get some effects here. And let's put them before our amp. So we're using Amplitubes effects before our Joyo. Gate. So let's do that. Get rid of the hiss. There we go. All right. What else? So yeah, let's add a phaser 10 um, before the distortion. <laughs> So yeah, it works just fine. Now we are playing digital, running digital pedals to our amp. And there's another thing you can do, I'm gonna show you. And this is quite fun, and this is basically called amp slaving. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the head of a different amp, and I'll put our Instead of going into the input of our amp, I'm going to go to the effects loop uh, return of our amp. So that way tone settings or knobs on the amp don't do anything. Instead, we're going to control it with our head from amplitude. So that's another thing we can do. So let's do that. So yeah, we take that. And we put it on there instead. So that's the return of the FX loop. And now this will serve as a slave. All right. There we go. I had to turn down the volume I'm sending into the amp. Now we just have the clean sound. So what are we going to do is we'll turn this Marshall head on. 
and just in case I'm gonna turn down the volume of that and now let's hear it. Let's get some gain. Scoop the mids, turn up the treble, turn up. up. Let's turn on the distortion. Phaser. Let's try a different head. So, uh, for example, that one. Let's turn down the volume just in case. Try this one. Uh, and on the volume again. I think we're on this. there we go uh, yeah that's a short video how to if you want you know use amplitudes pedal in front of your actual amp and then if you want to slave your amp and you have a nice speaker that you've mic'd up yeah you can you can do that also and uh, then you have all the heads you ever need inside and you know we could do this with tonics of course let's do that for fun i have that one also so we we, we could take the captures people have done so let's hear this let's switch here we go so we're, for instance we have this turn the volume down here we go. So Of course, turn the cab off and Here, this one.
and uh, well i have this collection also so uh let's try some something that doesn't have a cab do they all have oh they seem to let's hear let's hear this one And yeah, then we have our boss. So, lastly, and this is oh, actually already extra. But let's put some delay and reverb in there. So, I'm gonna select this one. I, I like it. My guitar seems to be out of tune, so let's put that down. As you can see, we can we can do a lot of stuff. I can now put if I'm going into the amp, the actual input, not in the effects loop. We could of course have our modulation effects or whatever in the effects loop. Uh, we could put uh, our actual pedals between when we go out of the headphone output we could have a pedal between there before going into our amp and then use amplitude pedals as well so yeah that's how you you do it um, this way like i said you can use your digital pedals you can compare you know even how the tone captures uh, sound compared to your actual pedal and uh, yeah and then like I said you can slave your amp uh, yeah do all sorts of cool stuff and routing yeah I could also pan two of these here uh, make another mono track take the input from either of those mics in there and I could keep that in the center. So then we'd have like whatever you want to call it, wet dry, wet trick. If, if we send this to the main, these are sending into the bus where we have reverb and delay. So this is basically dry without any delay and reverb. And then the delay reverb is on the left and right side, you know, panned like that. So yeah, lots of lots of cool stuff. And this is the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, anything, just ask and, you know, uh, hey, let me know if you like it. And if you have suggestions, what I, what, if there's something you'd like to know and, you know, you can always give suggestions and I might do a video. And this one was actually a video because someone asked me a question. So I thought I'd make this. But yeah, I'm off. Have fun. Bye-bye.